Hey everyone, Landsman Oz here and welcome back to Manufactio. The pack has gone through another update, so we are now at uh, 1.29 I think it is. Um, Golrith has gone and added a mod that I suggested in the Discord uh, by the name of Capsules. Now what Capsules does is it allows you to place items or uh, multi-blocks from a single capsule. It's it's normally used to transport um, buildings around. So if you've watched uh, my Craft of the Future series, you would have seen capsules in that. Um, apparently they're in the, um, the underwater one that I'm doing as well. Uh, I haven't got that far yet. So if you are watching uh, my Rustic Waters series, apparently we get to capsules in there. Uh, but for the moment, like I, I, I added it just before the pack update happened uh, just to, to play around with it and see what it's like. I did get a starter oak hut capsule. So these are generally uh, one-time use things or they'll, they, they've got a storage in it. You can see here and you can you can capture a, a building. So just say you build a nice base, uh, you can only get up to 11 by 11. Uh, one by one by it's, I don't know. Uh, you can go up to a 11 by 11 by 11, um, and it will capture that. Assuming you build a capture base, which is like this, just uh, for us, we're not going to be able to do this one because I don't think we can make torches. So you'll need to do it with a powered lantern in this pack. But the normal recipe would be a torch, compass, some glass panes, and some cobble, and you make the base. You place the base down directly in the middle. Uh oh, just noticed something. Um, are you running again? Why are you running again? Um, you know what? You just need to be think off for now. Uh, something weird going on. Where this doesn't empty out quick enough and we end up with iron ore all over the place. This should be being... Are you backstuffed? Is that the problem? Let's see if I can get in there. Yep, what a shock. Oh look, look it's going down now. My gosh. Right, let's put this back to being signal required low. Okay. Uh, all that iron ore will probably have gone over into here. Run down that. No, no. Right, let's turn the magnet off. <laughs> it's bumping through here. Through that little pipe that I've got underneath there. Uh, let me. Oh, everything's backstuffed. That's a little ridiculous. You can have this. That's right, I can't. Oh, no, it sort of worked in there at that, that time. Alright, uh, I did just, just need to fix things. Anyway, oh my gosh, look at all that stuff. Holy dooly, and I think that's from stuff I was doing in between episodes, and I'll run through that in just a second. Let me just dump some items. I, oh, it must have been like trying to empty itself. Goodness me. This thing has gone to town. You can go away. Uh, regular item ducks. Got the drill. Goodness me. Alright, that, that's kind of back to normal. Anyway, right, uh, so yeah, capsules, uh, and, and what they can be used for in this, and, and from default they do have some some um, built-in ones that allow building um, assemblers, for example. So I've, I've used this a couple of times. Uh, what you can do is you can put the items in your inventory, and you can just left-click it, and it'll charge up. Will take the items from your inventory. So if I grab this, I don't have the items at the moment. If I left click this, 
I'll get a message on the left hand side there saying that I'm missing two light engineering blocks, I'm missing two redstone engineering, etc, etc. And all the items that are required for this particular machine, um, then, you know, whatever I'm missing in my inventory for that machine, um, it'll tell you and you can get them into your inventory, charge it up. And then you can right click and place the item, you know, once it's charged, you'll get a, 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 an image and we can try that in a minute. Um, the other thing you can do, and you see here, it says sneak and right click will link an inventory. So what that leads us to be able to do is have, say, a chest, for example, where things are programmed to be in here, like these items, oh, there we go, all these modular machine runs, and they're all in this chest. And we could ideally link this guy. If I shift right click on here, it's linked. And if I left click now, uh, all I'm missing is a light engineering block and six iron sheet metal slabs. So if we look in here at the moment, I think there's only one light engineering block because they haven't come from over there and I think they're mainly getting used for that extra thing on um, the, the, the challenge that I'm doing over here. So let's grab that. Uh, I'm going to take some of them. And I'm going to place it in here. And then let's left click this again. So all I'm missing now is six iron sheet metal slabs. Let me just iron I'm trying to remember what the sheet metal slab recipe is. Yes, so it's this. And this is something I want to set up in this episode. So let's just get the the actual item crafted in the door. You can see this this is the recipe for this one actually. So I might as well show you this now. A uh, piece of paper, a couple of pieces of lapis, uh, some iron sheet metal, sheet metal slabs, button, and steel scaffolding gives you the the empty assembler. Let's just get rid of this. I, I do want some of them, but I want like this. Let's uh, three. Let's grab them. Cool. Whoop. Let's get out of here. And what I can do is head over here in this chest. Let's drop. I needed six, didn't I? So if I now left click with this. What I now have is a, uh, a, a wireframe of where I'm going to be able to place this thing down. Now you can see I've been busy. I've got a few out here and I've got, uh, I think these two are still empty. Uh, so these are the immersive engineering uh, assemblers. And I've been, between episodes, setting up some of the stuff you just saw in that chest that I pointed out there. So in here, for example, I have redstone engineering blocks. I've got steel scaffolding. I've got steel sheet metal. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I think it's steel sheet metal on these. Yeah, that's why I did it. These guys. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm prepping all the things I would need to build, say, these assemblers and these assemblers because I'd like to automate all the things. Eventually, I'll set one up to do these guys. Although this is probably less needed than, say, those assemblers. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so in here, I have... Um, wood into planks, planks into chests, and then some glass into glass panes. Uh, I have the machine casings here. So circuits, grind ingots, inputs, outputs, just tiny item input and output. And I've got filters on the input of each thing so that they'll only bring in the items required and, and 64 of them of each thing. So we have all of our things here and it crafts up automatically. Same here, we've got some buckets. This is for your fluid input. Uh, this is your normal energy uh, input hatch. Wherever that guy is. Uh, machine gearboxes, small energy input, because that's obviously the one we need for the assembler. Uh, item routers, which that's like that for when, because oh, I still don't have these automated reinforced filters. Uh, so filters from memory, yep, this guy here. So I can actually set that up in one of these. So let's do that. This guy, I use a lot of them. I can just do a normal 
crafting recipe like so. We are going to say item router and iron plates as the input. Because I've what I've done when I'm setting this up is I'll set these to whitelist. Uh, where was it in here? If I take one of these, it's going to take the whole stack. Surely I have some in the thing over here. I don't like uh, playing too much with the crafters once I've started putting things in. So you can see I had a bit of a, a derp here where I've ended up with a couple of stacks of stuff because I didn't put the, the limits on this chest. The limits are always a good thing. Set your limits before connecting everything up. That's so iron. No. Uh, what was I doing? I want the this guy. So item routers. Oops, just, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take the whole lot. Because that is going to be needed. And I'm sure I've probably got... It's aluminium. It's steel. Goodness, really? Surely I have at least one iron plate. Cool. Uh, the other recipes I want to set up in these guys are for these. So the recipe for this is iron plate as well. And then the recipe for the slabs is this. So cool. Iron plates are required. That should be what we need. So this and this. Cool. So uh, the iron is a little bit derpy at the moment. This is still turned off. And... The iron is currently being, for the base, it's currently being pulled out of here because we had this, this overabundance. And this guy was blocked with what else but hemp. <laughs> the hemp string stuff is everywhere in my base. And it's because I used the, the hemp for uh, recipes. This is probably less beneficial being here now because we're starting to build further out. Anyway, so in here we can do... Iron plate item router. I am going to throw that in and I'm going to set, come on, before it takes everything, limit of 16. Let's do that here. Otherwise, everything will just be a mess. Uh, yep, so next thing, obviously, I want the recipe for this guy and I want the recipe for this guy, like so. It's going to, once we get iron plates in here, we will. Um, and I'm sure they'll turn up eventually, just the way that the nature of the... Hello, buddy. Oh, where are my weapons? Eh, I didn't need it. Where is my weapons? I've obviously somehow dropped my assault rifle somewhere. Yeah, it'll turn up. All right, look, we've got things coming in probably because I didn't have that thing set correctly at start. We've had iron plates turn up that didn't need to turn up. So you can see we've got 60 slabs already, but we've only got six iron sheet metals. This will just build things until it's complete. So we'll get more iron coming in. It will make things here. Eventually those plates will probably come back. They'll go back to where they uh, originated from and then they'll come back again. Uh, hopefully it doesn't backstuff the, the storage for it. Fingers crossed. No, we're pretty good. Alright. Here they come. Yeah, look, it's backstuffing it. Ow. What's up there? All right. Herein lies the issue that we have. Once, once I get to the point of being able to, um, being able to put um, applied energistics to everywhere, that'd be great. But I mean, the base is working. Things are, things are quite decent. Uh, let's go back here. Iron sheet metal. Did I keep my slab? Yes, I want to keep the slabs in here too. Uh, here, sure, you can have that. Uh, but yeah, so the idea is to build everything we can, uh, automate what we can for all those machines that we built. And as I said, most of the things we build are these guys. Uh, so I've got 
sheet metal. I've got inserters. I'm pretty sure I had inserters coming in. Hello. Do I? No, I don't have inserters coming in yet. I thought I did. That's okay. Insert. Got some in here. Got that. And we've got them being crafted in, in other places. I will run out of areas to place things here soon, eventually. and we'll see what happens. Uh, but okay, so we'll get items coming in. We've already got sheet metal here. These things will top themselves up, but just a nice, simple way of placing items, multi-blocks. There are multiple recipes here. We have, uh, that one's unlabeled, unlabeled blueprint. I wonder what that gives us. I don't know. Anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, chicken cooker, whatever that is. I have no idea. Uh, auto workbench. So that's the immersive engineering auto workbench, as I said. We've got basic uh, recipes in here. So these guys. Automated workbench. Oops, wrong button. Uh... A coke oven, diesel generator, very handy. Uh, a crusher, fermenter, lightning rod. I don't know what these dark cobble corner tower. I don't know. Uh, a lab, so a modular machine, modular machinery or whatever it's. Yeah, that one. The lab, the normal labs. Uh, a blast furnace, advanced blast furnace. Bottling machine, squeezer, alloy smelter, advanced lab, refinery, basic assembler, mixer, silo, metal press, a standard assembler, a sheet metal tank, an excavator, fantastic, an arc furnace, fluid assembler, so you've got the assembler and the fluid assembler, which I'll probably make these two guys. Uh, pump jack, so the fluid assembler. Again, these aren't that hard. Bit of lapis, paper, and and like a button. It's it's it's. I don't know whether this works or this works because obviously we've got two recipes here. I'm thinking Galrith would have gone and modified things unless we've just. I don't know. Hopefully, one or the other works. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the, the assembler is the thing I'm using a lot of at the moment. Chemical plants. Um, but yeah, let's... Where did I put that uh, starter house thing? Because I mean, the, the little houses and things that come with it are pretty cool. If I go and... I don't even know where to put this guy. Somewhere where I've got a little bit of space. Uh... I no. Okay. <laughs> That's the starter oak hut. That's cool. It literally is ooh, I get a torch. Oh, what a crafting table. I've got a crafting table. That's a pretty cool little thing, a little furnace, some leaves on top. Nice. You guys want a cheaty way of getting a crafting table? It's a crafting table. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, we've got, you know, a little hut in the middle of nowhere now, but we've got this little hut uh, with everything you'd need to get, get started in Minecraft. Uh, but yeah, the IE assembler is very, very handy for me at the moment. Very handy. Right, what else have I done? Uh, I did hook up a little bit of power to those to those guys over the back, and I think I did show that last episode. Went ahead and smelted up a bunch of oop, of our materials we were after, and some steel and things happening. I still haven't gone and hooked proper pipe up to this guy, and it wouldn't take much for me to get this going. I mean, I've already got conduits running out or ducting running out to here 
So I could probably just um, just run it over, connect it up Oop. to this. Uh, obviously, one of the other changes Golrith made is not as not as nice. Um, we now can only turn uranium into yellow cake, so I can only do this function, turning it into the yellow cake. Uh, not sure what I'm missing and oh, apparently we're missing uranium ore anyway that's fine uh, so I can't you can't use uranium oh my gosh uranium ore this is all you can do with it now you can't turn you can't turn it into these guys yellow cake can be turned into yellow cake through the crusher so that that's fine um, rich uranium eh? it's just one extra step which we've already got set up in in our playthrough here so I'm, I'm not all that worried about that um, we're gonna need a bit of uranium soonish once I go into reactors which I think power I think I'm still sitting at the needing thousand red, green, blue. Yeah, so blue's still catching up from last episode where we reused a bunch. Let's see. Still haven't done this. We do have a little bit of unusual ore. Now should I do this? 200 red, green, blue, yellow. Don't have the 200 yellow. Um, that would be very cool. And then we could start getting into some of our EMC would be fantastic. Uh, so I do have the ability to make a little, you know what? I'm going to unlock, geez, I need more yellow. What is holding up my yellow production? Uh, yellow's over here, isn't it? I think this one's yellow. Probably. Yes, yellow science. Are you the yellow science people? Uh, yellow cake. Yep, that's happening. Elite control circuits. Solar fuel. Hello. Okay, low density structures. We really need to automate this guy. Uh, I believe I was making this manually, wasn't I? So, maybe we need to automate this. So we can go to 20. Did I or did I not set this set up? Set this up? I think I set it up manually I just don't have this automated so let's look at and we've got the rolling machine four seconds we're not getting any extra benefit from it but I mean I could set up another metal press that shouldn't be too hard with the materials we've got going uh, the only thing I think I'd need to add to my chest here to do the, the capsule arrangement at capsule let's look at doing that i mean i'm trying to work out if it's smarter for me to do a press or try and set up this stuff this is running isn't it it's back stuffed iron plates Iron plates, iron, nothing in there. Okay. Can't put things in there. Uh, 
That one's back stuffed as well here. You know what? Have some seeds and some iron plates and some sheet metal. I think this thing tried to like empty itself when I did that. Hello? Thank you. Sure. Take all these things. Uh, a metal press might be enough for now. Let's get the... Let's get the capsule. Oh, just looking at the time that I've got here. I'll set up. Yeah, just give, give me a moment. I'll be back. Alrighty. Uh, things are getting a little bit uh, airy around here at the moment. Uh, just suddenly getting, um, you know, attacked from all sorts of places when I'm not used to it happening. But it's alright. Things will be okay. Oh, we'll, we'll get there. But uh, yeah, just a little thing. Things are spawning where I don't think they should be able to. Uh, one other thing I needed to point out is I did make another furnace in here, and this guy is just to make glass. So he's set to just bring sand in whoop, 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 and extract glass. So that was something I've set up uh, also in between, just threw another guy back there. Uh, I've made the Assembler, the wherever it is, do, do, do the, the the press metal press. I don't know, it's here. Metal press blueprint is this guy. It's made with piston, button, conveyor belt, nothing too over the top. I am going to link this guy to this chest, and I'm going to left click, and we have everything we need for a press. Uh, you can. Trying to remember how this works. I think you point at the ground. Let's actually let's stand somewhere where I actually believe it'll work. Uh, got a good, good amount of power here and connections, but the actual alloy and it's used over here. So we're going to move over here a little. Uh, let's just place it by left click on the ground. It will rotate okay so and you can see down the bottom left corner it's at 90 degrees 180 270 and zero so if i place this guy down now let's say right click him there it will place it down and then i just need to right click with my hammer and there we go one metal press ready placed down and if I want to, let's see. Do I just put... I'm trying to decide whether to, to do these guys or use my own mod. <laughs> uh, do I have any... I don't have any single spot chests, really? Could have sworn I had one around. Can make some should automate that that really oh look we've got stuff in here i need to drop back into the system too uh, i've got lots of basic bins but they're a little laggy so you know what let's just make a couple of these guys uh, so you can see I, I don't need these to be here anymore because they're um they're gone now they're they're automated so this can just be a, a regular crafting table uh so i should really set up a single spot chest uh automatic recipe over there and then just store them uh, obviously this is the one i'm storing my consumables in and that one's the one i'm going to store my capsule capsule based stuff in so again, this will be something I'll need to automate, but the long and short of it, I'm going to get a single spot chest here. And then I'm going to filter an input like so. Filter, I want you just to bring in this whitelist. And then I'll I'll go through all the the redstone fandangery I need to. 
uh, in order to control the input. So I'll need to put a comparator and stuff on here, but at the moment, let's get some power hooked up to you. That'll be something that's not quite close. That's a high voltage line, people. <laughs> uh, that was high voltage. Well done. Um, yep, that's a HV line. See? <laughs> Derp. Uh, where's my nearest power, though? I've got power here. Not, not uh, ducting power. I've got duct power there. You know what? I don't want to jump into it again. I mean, for now, I could. I used to have a solar panel in my inventory. Could have just hooked it up to solar. <laughs> Can't believe I zapped myself. Oh, that's funny. What are you backlogged for? It's fine. Uh, let's take it up a little bit. Okay, this way. Just keep it at tree height for all those oops, who um, like things being really neat. Sorry. Here I am. Here I am getting all, you know, jumping up towards the cable again. Really, really smart of me. Ish. Alright, so this guy should be charged now. Nice. I have some in my inventory. I do. 17 of them. And yep, whitelist. Let's chuck that in there. And for now, am I out? No, I can't be out. Meta servos. Uh, I'll put a servo on here just to pump things in here, and then we'll redstone control the servo based on how full it is. But yeah, for now, going to get a bunch of this made up. I don't want to go to hoppers because they're laggy, and I mean this this pack really doesn't need any more lag than it's already got. So again, I'm just going to throw this on here for just for now. Go. Please. Oh, I don't have a plate in there. Ah! <laughs> oh, goodness me. It's not going to work. Uh, what have I got in here? Oh, I've got some that's in here, actually. I'll probably take that. I'll make another plate press. But I do need to, as I said, automate up these plates, making the... Thing. Where is it? Are you out here? Oh! oh slow down. Uh, is it you? No, you're making something else entirely. You are... I don't know. Not steel, plastic, redstone. What are you? None of it. Ah! I really need to rewire the base. Uh, you hooked up. What are you making? Servos. Uses just 20 in a standard assembler. Was it you that I was doing it in? One of them was. This guy. I need a standard assembler. I'm just going to hook this up. Uh, we've got ducting here, so let's just do this. And... Whoop, there. There. So let's put... Ducting down. Input. Make it whitelist. Output. Not there. Really? 
Oh, you're kidding me. This, like, adding these on sometimes is just ridiculous. Right, so you are going to do that. I'm going to firstly put a bunch of this in here. And are you working? Yes, you are working. Good. So we are going to be creating these. This should give us the uh, the yellow science again, because that's obviously where I hadn't finished a job I was doing before, which is a derp. All right, so this will occur. <laughs> Say that it will occur. Oh, there it goes. It goes. Loading away. There it goes. That'll be going to make us some more yellow science. So hopefully next episode I'll have enough to unlock a few more things. Looks like our oil is backed up. We had two pumps. This guy's still turned off. Probably need to bring that other stuff in. I'll put some red redstone control on the press over there. Oh, this guy is slow too, by the way. Yeah, and now he's out of energy. And I'm going to go run some conduits because because all these cables are a pain in the backside. Yes, unfortunate. Probably time to update the side of the base. Just something a little better than these MV cables. Either that or I'll set up another solar array on this side like I have on the far side. And grab a few more of those batteries. And we'll set up this sort of arrangement. See ya. Because this works quite well. And we're fairly full. Yep, we're all full at the moment. Nice. Alright, wrapping up point. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave those comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.